Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a thong bikini bottom. I've gotten tons of requests for this and it's actually much easier than you might think. So here are your materials. We're actually going to be using the Ranger Bottoms pattern from my website. I'm going to show you how we can use this one pattern and then actually customize your bottoms and make them thong, make them more cheeky, less cheeky, whatever you want. So make sure to take a peek at the description for a few important links. So the first step is going to be adjusting our pattern. The front piece will remain the same, but I took the back piece and I'm tracing it right now. And I'm actually going to keep the gusset measurements the same and the, um, the hips measurements the same, as well as the rise. And then I'm going to just be redrawing the kind of cheekiness line. So right now I'm just tracing it, but as you'll see, I'm going to go back in and customize that shape. So that's what it looks like. Now you're gonna cut out your pattern and get your front piece ready. Next, we're gonna cut two of the front and two of the back. For each, cut one lining piece and one piece of self fabric, which is the self is the one meant to be on the outside. I chose to make these bottoms reversible, so I'm using nylon spandex fabric for both the lining and the self pieces. So like usual, two of the front and two of the back. These steps are pretty much the exact same as the steps in my reversible bottoms tutorial, but I did start doing my bottoms in a different order, so even if you've seen that video, this one is an update as to how I do them currently. Next, you're gonna match up the lining with the lining and the self with the self and put the right sides together if applicable which for me it isn't, since my fabric isn't patterned. You're gonna sew along the gusset on both of those pieces and you're gonna leave a one inch hole in the lining piece, which my lining is gonna be this burgundy piece here. And of course, if you don't have a serger, use a zigzag stitch. Now take your pieces and line them up right sides together. Pin along the leg holes and sew together. And now we're going to add some elastic. We're just going to sew exactly the lines we just sewed and attach this elastic onto there. I'm using half inch rubber elastic in this tutorial. Flip your bottoms out to the right side. Straighten them out and line them up. Next, we're gonna be sewing the hips together. So lay them flat, match the right sides together, and just sew straight across there. Your lining should be against your lining and yourself should be against yourself. And as you can see, I did that correctly since red is together and burgundy is together. Straighten out your bottoms once more, and now we're gonna find that one inch hole that we left in the lining. Through this hole, start turning your suit inside out by pushing the swimsuit through it. Once inside out, it should look like it's one kind of piece, like it looks like here. 
and the lining should be touching lining and self with self. So you can see I have two layers of burgundy and I have two layers of red. So you can see that there's actually four layers of fabric and to sew the waistline you're going to need to sandwich the outer two layers and sew. So this time I'm matching red with burgundy. And there's two layers inside of there, I'm essentially just sandwiching it. If you're sewing through four layers of fabric, you're doing it wrong. And if you're not matching lining and a self piece, you're also doing it wrong. And as we're sewing, you're gonna notice that you're able to pull the two inside layers of fabric through and actually sew the entire waistline. I slowed down the sewing video so you can see me doing this. But there's a little preview of where I take it out from. So you can see as I'm opening up that little hip area, there's those two layers of fabric and I can simply just pull them through and just make more for myself to sew. So I'm about to make that first pull as soon as these pins come out. So as you can see, I'm just reaching in and grabbing those two layers and it's shifting the suit through this one little channel. So keep doing that and you'll eventually come back to where you started. Again, if you're doing this correctly, you should only be sewing through two layers of fabric. If you start twisting and moving it around and somehow you hit four layers, you're doing it wrong. Also make sure not to get the um, other layers of fabric just trapped in there because it will affect the way you're able to pull it inside out. And now after the waistline is sewn, we're gonna add elastic on top using the same method as we did for the leg holes. Just sewing where exactly where we just sewed and using half inch rubber elastic. I actually prefer a quarter inch elastic, but I ran out and I can't find any more. So we're using half inch today. So now your bottom should look something like this, just a weird whole big one tube thing. You're gonna move your suit around until you can find the one inch hole that we originally left. Again, through this hole, we're gonna pull the entire suit back so it's on the right side out. And as usual, we're gonna be using a blanket stitch to sew the final hole together to make it completely reversible. And here is our final product. So as you can see, I took an existing pattern and I was able to customize it to get the fit that I wanted. You can do this to make the ranger bottoms more cheeky or less cheeky, whatever you want. Or you can come up with a cut of your own that fits your body best. Thank you for watching this video. I have lots of exciting video plans for 2019 that I'm very excited to share. So stick around and I will see you in the next one.